like fun. It's Canada hosting the United States in a dual meet in Hamilton. When you're looking for speed and action in the ring, go for the flyweights like Dominic Fillane, who won his first of four Canadian titles right here in Hamilton back in 89. He's against a young gold plater from Cleveland, Linton Nichols. We're looking now at Linton Nichols, a 23-year-old from Cleveland, Ohio. He only has a record of 13 and 4, but he's been out of boxing for a little while to start a family as a young son. And there is Dominic Fillane from Scriber, Ontario, also 23 years of age, 60 bouts to his credit. So Dominic will have a big edge in terms of experience against Linton Nichols. The referee for this 51K bout, Bill Cridlin from Peterborough, Ontario. Steve, you said he'll have a big edge in, in experience. Maybe so, but I think that uh, he concedes he concedes the weight uh, by moving up in weight class to fight uh, to fight Linton. Dominic Fillane of Canada in the red against Linton Nichols in the blue representing the United States. This is round one, scheduled for three. Nice style, Nichols has elbows in front of his body, hands out in front of him, and aggressive. You see, that's, that's the one thing. The Americans are aggressive fighters. They'll come right at you. Sometimes you got to bang them to get their respect, you know, and then, then you can get into a boxing match with them. Normally, we'd see Dominic Fillane fighting in the 48K class, but Humberto Alvarez of Ottawa was a no-show for the Canadian team, so Dominic Fillane did the Canadian favor and moved up. Good right-hand, left combination there from Linton Nichols of the United States. Believe it or not, Steve, you know, it's, it's sometimes more significant moving up in the smaller weight classes than it is in the bigger weight classes, because it's a small frame to begin with, and when you give up the extra weight, it's, it's sometimes more of a difference than when you're at the heavier weight classes. At the weigh-in yesterday, Dominic... Uh, Tip the scales uh, just over 49K. Talked to him just before the bout. He said he had made the weight at 51. Yeah, usually it's the other way. He's got to lose weight. Well, he's probably put on the, 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 the three pounds, three and a half pounds since last night's weigh-in. But then on the same case, so has Linton Nichols put on that weight. So if Linton weighed in at 51, he's up to 53 by now, 52 by now. Dominic Fillane won his first Canadian title right here in Hamilton in this hall back in 1989. He's won four Canadian titles in total. Fillane landed a good straight right hand right on the inside of, uh, of Nichols. Came right on in with a good straight right hand. Oh, that's dangerous there. Exchanging the right hand. Those are dangerous shots, but I think uh, Fillane got the better of that one. Linton Nichols, who came out a very busy fighter in the opening seconds of round number one, but since then, Dominic Fillane has found his pace and his rhythm. What Dominic, this, this is good. You see, look at Dominic walk him all the way back. That takes away any chance for him to set and land any hard punches. Just keep walking him back when he's on the inside. Less than a minute to go now in the opening round. If this one scheduled for three, this is the 51K showdown, the flyweights between Dominic Fillane and Linton Nichols, representing the United States. Oh, good right hand by Fillane. Linton Nichols, a little clutch and grab on the inside, tying him up, but not enough for the referee Cridlin to take a point away or anything. Just enough to slow down Fillane and not let, not let Fillane do any damage on the inside. See that? Just a little hug here, a little tie up there. That's the experience after all those 60, 60 bouts. You know, you learn those things. And that's the kind of thing you don't normally see when they're on the computer scoring system. That's right. They tend to back away a little bit more, like you've said many times. It becomes more like a fencing competition than boxing. Well, see, in, in, in this match, everything's going to be important. Defense, offense, style, aggression. It won't just be a simple case of who touched who with the white portion of the glove. And there goes the bell Good to in round one between Dominic Fillane and Linton Nichols. And on my scorecard, at least, Fillane has a slight edge. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. The whistle has gone. The seconds have left the ring. And the second round of this 51K showdown between Dominic Fillane of Canada in the red and Linton Nichols representing the United oh. States in blue is underway. And right off the bat in the opening seconds of the second round, we get some heavy action from these two flyweights. Nichols came out and he saw that Fillane was opening up the left side a little bit, trying to throw that left hook from far range. And he just snuck the right hand right in. And that's the same punch that he landed on Nichols in the first round and he was victim of it by now in the second 
and Nichols is starting the second round exactly the way he started the first round. Very busy. Let's see if he can maintain this pressure or if it's just a, a quick one round. Now, you have to remember, he's inexperienced. So, of course, coming out of the corner. Oh, a good right hand by Delay. He's inexperienced. He's coming out of the corner with a lot of emotion. Now, let's see if he'll, die, if he'll continue it or die out as the round progresses. This is where the experience of a Dominic Fellain right. should take over. At the Olympics in Barcelona, Dominic lost his first bout with Japanese boxer. Last time in the ring was at the U.S. Golden Gloves in Little Rock, Arkansas. He won his first bout, but he lost the second time out. He's going to be in tough here. I mean, this is this is not by any means an easy match. Both of them have continuously traded right hands here, and they, they're going to have to be careful. One of them could get nailed right on the point of the chin, and it could be a long night. This is nice. This is I like what Crindle's letting them work on the inside, which is what I like to see. Good left to Filane being aggressive. You see, now this is what the crowd gets into. This is what they like, and this earns you points on this system. Oh, they're taking a point away. Nice right hand by Filane. Okay, oh, the left hook also. This is great action in this 51K showdown between Dominic Belain of Canada in the red and Lint Nichols from Cleveland, Ohio, representing the U.S. We're in the second round. What, what Delane now is going to have to get through this round and then be careful of the first minute of the third round because Lint Nichols will come out bombing and then Dominic should take control again. And that's exactly what's happened with Dominic Belain scoring with a big right hand there. Come another back with right another right hand. hand. And he's staying busy on the inside. He's not letting, he's not resting. He's not content to tie up where if they were on the old computer system, he would be because he knows nothing will get scored on the inside. There's another right hand, Lance. And he walks him back. Good, good little strategy here by Filet in handling the bigger guy, Linton Nichols. Less than 30 seconds to go now. Round number two, and it's Linton Nichols who's coming back to score a few points. Nichols starting the round the way he started it. And then Dominic Fillet scores that time with a left. After just escaping a right hand, again, that goes to show you, you can't open up that left side without the right hand beating the left hook. Oh, there's the right hand again. Lip, Lip Nichols landed at that time right over the jab. Dominic got caught with his head a little high in the air, trying to reach with the jab, and Linton Nichols came right over. There it is again. And there goes the bell to end the second round on a my card, at least. I'd have to give that round to Nichols, so I've got them even at one round of peace. Don't, okay. this, this is tight. It's real tight, Steve. Don't stand in the corner. Take your, take your distance that you need. Come with that right left hook, okay? The third and final round in the 51K showdown between Dominic Fillane and Linton Nichols about to get underway. And according to my card, I got it close. This round could decide it. This, will, this round will decide it. And this is what makes this kind of boxing so exciting over the Nintendo style of boxing. Both these guys know they got to go out there and win a round. They don't know how the judges have scored the first two rounds. I think either one who won a round is only by one point, probably. I don't think there was enough of discrepancy in the rounds for anybody to take a big lead, except for the fact that Linton Nichols Nichols lost the point in the second round. That could be a fact that he may need the knockout here to win. Linda Nichols came out very busy at the beginning of the first and second round. Belaine seems to have steadied him down somewhat in this third and final round. Nichols not as busy, but he may be tired. He's, he's probably is both. They threw, it's been a busy first two rounds, but the one thing I, I see is that Belaine is getting hit with that right hand time and again. And you don't like to see that because eventually the right hand starts to land square on the chin. He's landed his own, mind you, but he's still gotten hit with a few of Linton Nichols' straight right hands. And in sharp contrast to what's going on here, this could be something that could be a deciding factor. Oh, they're giving Linton Nichols an eight count. A standing eight count from referee Bill Criddle to Peterborough against Linton Nichols. As the two come back to the center of the ring. Third and final round, 51K showdown, Fellaini in red, Linton Nichols in the blue, representing the U.S. This has been a good one from the opening bell. And the American team, Steve, is all behind the blue corner, yelling and screaming for Linton Nichols, encouraging him on. I look over to the Canadian.
Canadian corner. I can see no Canadian fighters screaming or yelling for Dominic Delay. So if this keeps up like this, momentum, if this keeps up like this, momentum is going to flow to the American side. There'll be a lot of people in Scriber, Ontario, cheering for Dominic Delay, and I can guarantee that, especially his mom and dad, his biggest fans. Oh, right hand again, Landon. Just over a minute to go in round number three as Linton Nichols pours it on a bit there against Filet. Filet has got to pick it up. He needs that. He needs to do it. There it is. That could be the shot. The one to get the res Linton Nichols respect. And there was the right hand again. He landed the left hook, then the right hand. But again, Nichols didn't back off. No. He kept coming forward. So what do you do in that case, Steve? You hit him again. He comes, hit him again. There it is, that's it. He comes again, you hit him again. One, two, three combination. Jab right hand, left hook. We have seen it all in this 51K, the flyweights. Belayed against Nichols. What a way to get the crowd warmed up. This is, this is the lighter weights. This is the kind of action you want to see. And Filane and Nichols are delivering. We're in the final seconds of round number three. This one's scheduled 4-3. It'll go to the judges. Look at that. Working on the inside. Nichols all has the uppercut. And there goes the bell what to entertain what has been a raucous crowd with this bug. The 51K, the flyweights, Dominic Fillane of Canada and Linton Nichols from Cleveland, Ohio, representing the U.S. And this one goes to the judges. Nice exchanges by both fighters. You see, this is it. In the third round, they both want to win, and they come out bombing. There was the right hand that Fillane landed. He needed to get Nichols' respect in the last round, and he did that. He did that right when we were talking about it early in the round, and I think it paid off. Both missed there. There was the left hook. That was the one we talked about. Then he comes back and lands the right hand right after that. There was the right hand. Those could have been the two key punches of the fight to get his respect. A knowledge join ring announcer Ted Michaels with the decision on this 51K showdown. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the first bout, the winner in the red corner, Dominic Filet. And before we get a comment from Dominic Filet, we've got the highlights from a couple of bouts. First, the Bantam. Dominic Filet joining me now. Dominic, uh, that was one of the most entertaining fights I've seen uh, from you in a long time. Yeah, well, I've been really digging deep for this fight. I've been training hard for this fight. Uh, a lot of my last couple fights have been really close, and I've been, I've been losing the decisions on them. So this time, I said, there's, there's nothing going to take this one away from me. And I've just been working hard in the gym with everybody who's been trying to help me out here, and uh, finally it came through. Normally, you'd be fighting 48K. You stepped up to 51K. You didn't seem to have any problem. No, no. Um, 48, 51, I could fight in either which, either one of them. Um, I felt I wanted to try and be stronger for this one, and... Uh, it was, it was a pretty good uh, choice to my, my, my Dominic, part. Dominic, we got some action from the third round. Yeah, yeah here, we were both just sort of waiting on each other and trying to catch each other with the, the big punches. And uh, I've noticed being at the heavier weight, you have a lot more uh, snot, I should say, on your, on your punches. So it, it was nice feeling this for a change. Dominic, I think he may have surprised you a bit with the fact that uh, he didn't have that much ring experience, but uh, he came on strong, especially at the start of the round. At the start of the round, he really had me uh, thinking. Uh, he came out, he was throwing some big shots, some hard punches, and uh, coming from the, the transition from 1-6 to 1-12, he could really feel the difference. So I, I just started to, uh, you know, pick my shots a little bit more. Dominic, congratulations. Great job. Thank you very much. Thank you. 